Hello Minecrafters, it's Drazzlefell here with my first Minecraft tutorial video. The topic of this video will be my combustion engine, which runs on an unlimited supply of fuel and an unlimited supply of coolant. I've made my own video, even though there are others out there on this topic. Um, the reason is I wanted there to be a good tutorial video that didn't require an engineering degree to understand it. It does not try to cram all of the information into 30 seconds, and you don't have to wait till your kids go to bed to watch this, because I promise I will not curse like a trucker. Um, this operation requires, well, I'm actually running on a TechIt Lite server. Specifically, you'll need the BuildCraft mod and the BuildCraft Additional Pipes mod. I'm running on TechIt Lite. Tech it Light 0.5.7 and Minecraft 1.4.7. Um, I'll tell you everything you need to know to run a combustion engine with unlimited fuel and coolant. I won't tell you anything you don't need to know. I'm not going to go over recipes in this video because that's information you can find just about anywhere. Anyway, uh, combustion engine is the most powerful of the three engines available with BuildCraft. It supplies energy to the other machines that are in BuildCraft. In this case, I'm using it to operate my quarry. This is my mining operation. It's kind of small, maybe a little bit pathetic compared to others, but um, it meets my needs and it makes me happy. So don't flame it or you will hurt my feelings and I won't let you watch the rest of this video. Um, this quarry runs off power supplied from my combustion engine. I'm not going to talk about the quarry because this is not a quarry video. However, the 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 combustion engine is supplying power to my quarry through this gold conductive pipe. The gold conductive pipe runs from the quarry all the way back to my engine. I'll go back here so you can actually check out my engine rig. You can see the gold conductive pipe comes down and it goes into the top of my combustion engine and it is attached to the combustion engine with a wooden conductive pipe. For some reason in BuildCraft, uh, most machines or most um, devices that have an output, you have to start it off with a wooden pipe. Um, I don't know the reason for that, but that's the way it is. You can see my combustion engine is running to supply power to my quarry. In order to run, a combustion engine needs three things. I'm going to right click on the engine and show you those three things. On the left, you can see the first of the three things it needs is fuel, which is represented by this full tank of lava. Lava is actually the least efficient of the three fuel types. Uh, you get something like 8,000 ticks per bucket of lava. Um, I read that somewhere. You can also use oil or all the way up to refined fuel, which gives you something like 100,000 ticks per bucket. I'm using lava because I can get it in an unlimited supply, and it's, uh, it's much easier to find and create than... Uh, than the refined fuel. A combustion engine also needs a coolant. Over here you can see that I have it filled with seawater. Very important if your combustion engine runs out of coolant and keeps running it will overheat and explode and whatever your operation may be will turn into a crater. Finally the third thing you need is a redstone power source. In this case I just use a simple lever. I can switch it on and off um, to turn on or off my combustion engine. So let's get to the main show my unlimited supply of fuel and my unlimited supply of coolant um, you can see I have my lava stored in this tank I have my water stored in this tank both of them are coming in in a constant supply to get from the tank to the engine I have a wooden transport pipe uh, is the output to my tank and it's connected to cobblestone pipes uh, transport pipes which take the lava and the water into the combustion engine these wooden transport pipes do require a um, power of their own both of my wooden transport pipes are running off of a redstone engine with uh, with levers to turn those on and off now you can see that these tanks are not going down they're staying constantly full um, and that's the real trick here you can see I've got some funky things here um, and a funny looking little block down there and I'm going to take you out to the ocean to explain those in a little bit more detail oceans out here a little ways I could sing you a song or whistle a tune to you while I travel but I can't stay on key I will spare you that agony all right, as I get out here to the ocean, you can see I built a little walkway to, to get out into deeper water. And here I have a water pumping station. This box in the middle is the pump. The pump is working on four redstone engines. Um, 
two, each pair of engines is run by a redstone torch. Actually, the fourth engine is underneath that box there. You can see it's running underneath there. So the four redstone engines are causing the pump to suck water out of the ocean and up into this waterproof wooden pipe. And then it goes into this funny looking little pipe here. This is from the additional pipes um, mod, and it is called, in the latest edition, it's actually called a phased pipe. As the water enters the phased pipe, it disappears, and it goes off into either the nether or the end realm, wherever it goes, and it reappears in a matching pipe somewhere off in the distance. In this case, my matching pipe is over there attached to the water tank, um, which is feeding coolant into my combustion engine. If I right-click on the phased pipe, you see it has some settings. Number of outputs, one, that indicates that this particular phase pipe is attached to one other phase pipe. Um, if, the, if I saw a number higher than one, it could be pumping water into several other pipes. Uh, it's set to send and receive. In this case, it's, it is only sending. Private indicates that this is my phased pipe. Only pipes uh, that were created by the owner, Drezzlefell, uh, can be attached to this one. And the important thing is you can see the frequency number here, frequency 20. The matching pipe over on my combustion engine is also set to a frequency of 20. And because the frequencies match, these pipes communicate with each other. You can see if I click on minus 1 here, I bring the frequency to 19. The number of outputs drops to 0 because I do not have a matching phase pipe at frequency 19. If I bring it up to 20 again, it takes a second, and it is now reattached to my water tank. Now, this is great technology, but a, a problem is um, it kind of requires that this whole pumping station remain in existence for it to work. What I mean by that is the way Minecraft works, uh, the, the, the world is only in the computer or in your server's memory as long as there's a player in close proximity. If I were to turn around and walk away in this direction far enough, um, just like you can see new terrain rendering as you approach it, the terrain behind you um, will essentially disappear. It goes onto your hard drive and disappears from your world. And what would happen is this piping system would cease to exist in my world until I get close to it again. Water would stop pumping into my combustion engine and boom, it would explode. Um, so what I've done here is I have this nice little cube here. It is called a teleport tether. And in game terms, what that does is, uh, you know, as this water is piped off into another realm, it tethers the water into the reality of this realm so it can find its way to the other pipe, whatever. What it does in game terms is it keeps this area surrounding uh, this pumping station loaded into memory at all times, whether or not I'm in close proximity to it. Um, the, the actual the game term is called chunks. Uh, it keeps the chunks surrounding this pipe, uh, this pumping system loaded in memory. If I hit F6 and you can see the chunk lines, um, you can see that this whole area will stay in memory whether or not I'm nearby or whether or not I'm even logged into the server. So uh, it's kind of cool the way that thing works. Hold on a second, it's getting dark and I don't want to get ganked by monsters here if I hit the right key. Don't let my wife know that I cheated to make this video. Oh look, it's daytime again. Okay, so water station, pumping water, Enderman, don't look at them. I'll run back here to my combustion engine, show you the other half of things. So here is the phase pipe that matches my phase pipe out in the ocean. If I right click on it, you can see it's a attached to the one single other pipe out there and it's also at frequency 20 so it is receiving water from my pumping station out there. Uh, here is the um, the teleport tether that takes care of actually both of these phase pipes. If I let you take a look at the chunk lines you can see that both phase pipes are contained within the same chunk uh, so this chunk stays in memory because of that one teleport tether. Now where do I get my unlimited supply of lava? I have a phase pipe here set to frequency 10. That means there's another phase pipe out there. You can see the number of outputs is 1. Also set to frequency 10 that is supplying me with lava. I will take you to see that real quick before my time runs out on this video. I'm not using a paid version of Fraps or anything like that, so I get 10 minutes. 
<laughs> figures just as I said that my 10 minutes ran out so starting a fresh file here I'll, I'll do some splicing here when I'm done alright coming to my portal room and here I have a, a portal to the nether if you've never been to the nether it requires you to build a portal uh, out of obsidian it has to be at least four wide by five tall and then you ignite this middle part using a flint and steel boom nether portal need to step into the purple glow for a total of four seconds in survival mode and I teleport into the nether this is my nether realm protection shack this is a dangerous place so I built a protective shack around it I come out here into the nether and I'll look a lava lake an unlimited supply of fuel and out there on the lava lake you can see I have a structure oh hey hello zombie pig man die told you it's a dangerous place I have a structure out here encased in cobblestone because ghasts like to throw fireballs at me when I'm out here and I don't know if pumping stations are fireball proof if I break this block away, you can see here's my pumping station. It's identical to the one I showed you out on the ocean. Here is my phase pipe at frequency 10, which matches the one on my lava tank. So this is the pipe that's pumping lava into my lava tanks and providing an unlimited fuel source for my combustion engine. And that's about it. I am going to get out of here So I'm not very well protected forgot to put on my good armor before I came out here. Anyway, I hope this video was informative. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'd say subscribe, but I can't promise I'm going to do any more videos. Um, just felt like I wanted to do this one, and it was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did, too. Good night.